This video shows the installation of spinner multi-fit connectors for LF 1.25 inch and LF 1.58 inch annually corrugated foam cable using a spinner trimming tool. When installed correctly, spinner multi-fit connectors show outstanding RF performance and best environmental protection. All spinner multi-fit connectors are delivered with installation instructions which also list the required tools. Firstly, remove the cable jacket to the dimension given in the installation instructions. Take care not to damage the outer conductor. The trimming tool houses two blades. The main one to cut cable layers, the smaller one to slit the cable jacket only. Place the collet guide of the trimming tool in the corrugation nearest to the trimmed jacket. Close the clamping lever to fix the trimming tool to the cable. Turn feed hand wheel counterclockwise manually until the blade is situated close to the cable. Cut outer conductor by turning the crank clockwise. After cutting the outer conductor, the feed hand wheel can be turned counterclockwise manually until the blade is through the foam and just before the inner conductor. Cut inner conductor by turning the crank clockwise. The cable is trimmed when the inner conductor is completely cut. Turn back the feed hand wheel. Open the clamping lever and remove the trimming tool. Remove the jacket with a knife to the slit. Slide the O-ring onto the outer conductor. Make sure the O-ring is placed in the corrugation valley next to the jacket. Then push the back nut with a slight rotation over the O-ring until the spring fingers have completely snapped over the end of the cable. Pull the back nut to the front until the claw is completely covered by the bushing. Insert the flaring unit's guide pin into the inner conductor. Ensure that the flaring unit spike is positioned under the outer conductor. Turn the tool clockwise to flare the outer conductor. Check the foam is fully separated and evenly spaced from the outer conductor. If necessary, use a knife or screwdriver to remove any remains of foam from the outer conductor to ensure an optimal contact. Remove any metal debris with a nylon brush. Screw the connector body on the back nut until the thread only just grips. Tighten the back nut and the connector body using a poly hook spanner and an open end spanner. Make sure to hold the body and rotate the back nut only. Torque the back nut to the value given in the installation instructions. Now the spinner multi-fit connector is installed.